a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blah Beer Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days Dr. Darkness Falls mod. So just a quick thing, um, Websman actually reminded me, there's no re a need for a rain barrel over here because we do have a working sink. Last time I accidentally wrenched this because it said empty and I didn't realize it says empty working granite sink. But yeah, we do have an oven, we do have a sink over here, so we're going to be using that. Um, also guys, as you've noticed, my scout, my quest in, uh, for the trader and for the scout are so far apart. Now Dennis actually commented and it makes so much sense, I don't know why, I, I think I might have done it like once or twice before. First, accept the scout quest and then see in which direction you have to uh, get the trader quest. Like if a scout quest is south, uh, to the south of here, see if you can't get a south, southwesterly kind of quest over here. And it makes sense, it's so much, I don't know why I've never done that before. Also, as you guys can see, I am busy making myself metal workstation. I realized I was using wood over here, so I put my sticks in to be able to make a way more forged iron and stuff. And then I used the planks that are in there and also a few of the wrenched consoles over here to be able to make myself the workstation. Now we have that, um, what if I shouldn't first eat and drink before we leave as well? We want to make sure that we are... Okay, okay. Ooh, I might need some more food and stuff. We do have a little bit of meat. Uh, was I busy cooking something? I wonder. I can't remember if I've been making food over here or not. Yes, I was. Nice, 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 nice. I could have sworn I did something in the oven and uh, I just couldn't remember what it was. Okay, so now the food and water, all that stuff can go over here. There's no point in keeping that on us. Water we might actually need on us. We have a little bit of here. Uh, but we uh, might need some more water because of the fact that we might set ourselves light with monotops. So the fact that we have these, they, they might work a little bit, but I feel like it's a little bit of a waste. Also, I should probably go and secure this whole base. Oh, that was a waste of water just now. I should probably go and secure this whole base because as you guys can hear, there's a ton of noise. Also, there's a lag with the doors, it seems. But yeah, there's a little bit of um, noise outside. Also, you guys, a lot of you have said that you have done this quest and this unlocks with like a green key. So it's not tied to any quest or anything, and you can still use it as your base. It doesn't reset your base, which I think is awesome. Okay, I need to be careful. And the zombies... See, they're breaking through the stone over there, but they're also breaking through the windows. So if they get through the windows over here, we might have a problem. I need to strip this whole place, and I need to take all the dirt outside away. All the destroyed stone. This destroyed stone is so in a way right now. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, since I love using the shotgun so much, I should probably go for the farmer class next, the get off my land perk. Uh, but I don't know if I should go for that one or something else. I mean, we're going to be able to make ourselves the watch anyways, no matter which one we go for. That's kind of awesome. Definitely going to have to come mining during night time. I can easily just cut away and do it, but still, I want to do as much as possible. So I'm going to do that one. I can actually do that one, hand it in, see if I can't get another one uh, southish so I can do this uh, the quest together as well. There's no point in passing the trader. Just because you're, uh, just because you don't want to hand in one at a time, just hand in one at a time and then see if you can get them more or less in the same area. Still, I can't believe that I never thought of that. That's such an obvious thing to do, and the fact that I didn't even think about that actually really, I, I want to hit myself. I want to smack myself. Okay, please tell me it's this pure I No, it's not. I wonder if I should at least grab all of this stuff. Remember, guys, um, in Undead Legacy, this is just clay. But this is actually cobble in this one, so it's actually worth grabbing as well. I mean, yeah, when it's just clay, it's also worth grabbing, but the fact that it's cobble, you don't have to make anything, is a big bonus for me right now. I want to see if I can't make a uh, standalone base, but even if we don't, as long as we make a cool base, I'm, I'm going to be using Anna's base for now. Oh, this is empty. I'm going to be using Anna's base for now, and I have a really cool idea of what I want to do. There's going to be a vulture up there. Doesn't look like there's a dog in there, so I just, I just want to be careful. Of any dogs that might pop up over here. Okay, it seems we can jump from other side as well. There is a dog house. I need to be careful. Oh, that could have ended really badly if I wasn't careful just now. Guys, if you're a little bit, uh, you're a little bit of a droning sound in the background. Uh, my parents are watching a movie, and my dad loves his sound system. So hopefully it doesn't get too annoying or too loud. I should probably arrange this right. Um, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't get too loud and picks up anything. The way I have my mic set up, it's a unidirectional mic. Um, if the dog's in something in the background, it's behind the mic bark. I'm always so paranoid because I hear the dog so loud, but people don't hear the barking. So I'm just hoping it's the same now. 
there's something up there. Um, I'm just I'm hoping it's the same now with the sound because the sounds in the other room to the right. But I'm not sure. I'm just so, so afraid of like a lot of sounds and stuff interfering with the uh, video. Okay, so that is done. We should probably also start getting all the resources early on. We don't want to later regret not the, uh, the fact that we didn't grab some cement. So the more we can grab right now, the better. Obviously, I need to be careful that I don't encumber myself. But the fact that not, we now have the medium backpack helps a lot. Uh, I I'm just going to shoot the vulture. Rather shoot him and make a little bit of noise than miss him with the spear and then he does some damage. I want to make sure we don't have to yield too often. And then we have to jump this. Whoops. Oh wait, uh, there was something over here that I actually wanted to check. Also, you guys have been commenting. Um, guys, if so many people comment, it's hard to remember the names, but a lot of people have commented that if you look at the NPCs, um, the, uh, the HP for the Wandering Traders is like 2,000. Normal Traders is like 600, 700. So the, the Wandering Traders definitely have more HP, and that's what I need to be keeping an eye open for. Which is a really cool tip, I feel. Damn. I didn't even realize, what, because so far, every single uh, NPC that I've been talking to, um, just, well, we'll try talking to you, wasn't an NPC, it didn't give me anything. So I just thought, oh, okay, it might, might not be a feature yet. Can I? It's so hard getting that thing, and sometimes you accidentally close it as soon as you open it as well. And grab all the stuff we can get right now. Usually there's a zombie, probably get the chairs as well. And I don't have to chop too many trees down later. I need to stop being careful of, like, the radiators and ferals and stuff like that. If we start getting ferals, they might just be a threat to us. Oh, this is a fine supplies as well. Okay. Remember, Jean, don't fail the quest again. Last time I forgot it's a fetch. Stripped the whole place, walked away, and then regretted it. Okay, it's still downstairs, so we're not going to be getting it now. I wonder if I shouldn't do the same I did with Undead Legacy, where I loot the whole place, I clear the zombies out, and then just quickly strip it off camera. But there's, there isn't always that much to grab in the first place. I thought I might be able to close that door in time, but I couldn't. In your heads, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a shame we can't bleed them out without hitting them again. It's a waste of stamina. Every time you have to hit a zombie again, it's a waste of stamina. But at least this we can power attack. Obviously, guys, for those who don't know, uh, sometimes power attacking doesn't give the same amount of resources. But every time I've tested it so far, I haven't really seen a difference, whether you're power attacking or um, just normal attacking. Spawning taps. I think we were like one level away from being able to use the first farming tips. Um, I actually, I think I spent the first point. I can't remember. You guys have been commenting saying don't put a point uh, in the first videos. Don't put a point in the farming. But I can't remember whether I did or not. <laughs> it's been so long ago. Okay, there might be a zombie in here. Be careful. It's so weird playing the different mods. In Undead Legacy, you need a jar when you come to the sinks and stuff. It's hard not comparing mods. Uh, yeah, this is the burnt house. It's hard sometimes not comparing mods when you're looking at the, like the different features and stuff, because there's like a there's a definite difference in features, and it makes you so confused between the mods. Okay, um, couches. You only give wood, right? And leather. See, so that might be worth it because later we might actually need a leather. Careful, Jean. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Okay, I think close that door because usually there's a zombie there. I want to see if I can't go looting at night as well. But at the, mo at the moment, at night time, it's way more beneficial for me to just do as much work off can like um, mining all that destroyed stone and stuff like that. There's no point in going out and dying unnecessary deaths when you can easily do stuff around the base that can also just wait out the night with. I need to arrange all the stuff at and uh, Anna's, we need to take all the destroyed stone away, we need to do so much stuff still. Okay, I'm encumbered right now, which is really bad. So let's just go and do this. I think I want to leave, I want to keep this for in case we need it for oil later, because I know we're going to need the oil. And then I need to remember as well, we need to keep all the dyes we come across. Sometimes the amount of stuff you have to remember in the game is actually really bad. Um... Yeah, the chairs, obviously, if you keep it just as is, it's going to give you more wood. Every time you scrap, you lose a bit of wood. But I'd rather scrap it and have some more space than not scrap it and not have space. 
I think there's another zombie sleeping around the corner. Fetch is right there. Yeah, this could have easily been like a footballer or something. I need to be careful. I see the footballers and everything still called strippers. Someone actually explained to me why it was. I thought at first it was a bug or something. But someone actually explained to me why that uh, they're all called strippers now. And I just I forgot what the reason was. I think the female one's called a hooker still. I'm not sure, but yeah, I know that these ones, this used to be the cowboy, now it's a male stripper. The footballer used to be a footballer, now it's a male stripper. Okay, I need to be careful not to grab too much stuff as well. We need space right now. The nice thing is we do have the vehicle we can drop stuff on, so it's not going to be too bad. Careful of wolves and stuff, and my uh, vehicle is this side. Okay, so yeah, um, I need to be really, really careful of just wolves and stuff walking about. At least we do have the shotgun, but I need to actually keep it equipped when running around like this. You don't want to accidentally run into a wolf. And I could have sworn there was a drop. Okay, there's a treasure map over there, but that one you have to break open. Although it might really be worth going for it. But I think we should actually go for that one after we go for these quests, or we'll, we'll see. It's just first to stop at the trader. You now, sometimes you can get quite a bit of cash from doing dig quests like that. So if we can early on get a ton of cash, just buy some resources for now. Later we can focus on other stuff. See, that's only 200 HP. That's too low. But yeah, for uh, the first few days, guys, I, I usually love buying resources because it's just easier. Uh, just drop, 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 drop. Okay, we never use that so we can sell that. The dyes we can keep. Tears we can keep. Let me just start dumping stuff randomly in there. Okay, the problem now is also just space. We need to be careful not to drive into something. But you guys, I usually end up buying resources off the bat. And then as we progress and we can mine more and gather more stuff that way, I'll do it that way. It just makes sense. If you have the cash, buy stuff. Use it. Uh, you have cash for a reason. Obviously, you want to buy some Molotovs and other weapons and stuff. But if you can use it, use it. Okay, my vehicle is at 33% gas. I need to keep that in mind as well. I'm going to do the scout quest first, and then the other quest we can clear the place, and then during night time just quickly really strip it. It's going to be worth going back and forth right now. Bedroll, this is not mine anymore. Forge we already picked up. I want to make sure we have everything that we need over here. Okay, so, um, Iron Pick, I'm going to go for this one. Reason being is, this one we don't have a repair for. Or one that we can actually use. Okay, what recipes can you teach me over here? Get the candies, any other jobs? I need to go south. Here, zombies. Sound. Can you help me with my pro I can't thank you enough. See, now that's right next to I'm gonna do this one first though, because we know that that is out in the wilderness. And it is starting to get nighttime right now. Um Always pick up from the bottom, Jean. That was a waste. I hate wasting resources and frames. It's easy enough to make, but in the long run you lose so much wood by not picking up your frames behind you. How many times in the past have I said, oh no, I'm out of frames? Because I either use it on like farming or uh, as fuel for forges and stuff. And it's so easy running out, but you just never realize you're running out until it's too late. Also, guys, I'm going to try and do it uh, like I used to do in the past, where I do four episodes. Well, I record on a Sunday or Saturday, four episodes Darkest Falls and four Undead Legacy. And then like Wednesday or Thursday, I'll record the other three for each. Because then I can respond to your comments and stuff as well. Sometimes I am worried about power outages because, for example, they said this weekend there's going to be no outages, don't worry, rejoice, and there's outages again. <laughs> so they just said there's not going to be any outages, and now there's going to be outages again this weekend, starting tomorrow morning already. So it makes it really hard recording and streaming and stuff when the power is constantly out. Because you never know when you're going to have power and not have power. So if I see, oh no, the schedule shows there's going to be too much, then I might have to record a few days in advance. And unfortunately, that's just how it is here in South Africa. I actually love recording every day. Like, um, uh, instead of recording the whole week's episodes, only recording two in advance. And every day recording another one then. Because then you know at least you have one in advance if something happens. But at the moment, that is just not in the books for me. Okay. It's a shame we don't have that cow close by. We can actually... And also some cobble in us. If we could go... And we can actually burn the cow with the zombies, and then also just stand on cobble so the cow can't get to us. That would have actually really helped us right now. Okay, so, power attacks, yay, but also, uh-oh. 
See, the nice thing is because it's a steel spear, as long as I do a headshot, most of the zombies just fall down. Power attack kill, uh, kills these 65 HP zombies super easy. But you can only do so many power attacks. I want to save the Molotov so when we start getting wandering hordes and stuff. Because we are going to start getting tougher and tougher and tougher zombies. So I want to make sure that when we get those, we have the ammo or the stuff to take them out. Because I don't know if ammo... Molotovs can't really be counted as an ammo, right? It's more like a weapon. Okay, so this one's done, right? Yeah, it just shows back in the trailer. Nice. The more quests we can do like this, the better. I do want to try and stop at all of the bird's nests. But as soon as I'm level 5, I think I might be able to already then go and make myself a chicken coop. I need to see exactly when we get when we get to a safe spot. I want to go through all my skills again and see exactly what we need for a chicken coop, for a beehive, for all that stuff. I think it's just to be level 5 and like the first basics are unlocked, but I'm not sure. If we can get the beehive and the um, chicken coop early on, we don't have to worry about going for all the bird's nests and stuff. It saves us so much time in the long run. Also, when I see if I can't also from the start make myself those biodegradable um, oil barrels and stuff, be able to get gas without having to worry about going to the uh, desert. When I saw Keynes' playthrough and I was like, what the hell are these green containers? I was actually really shocked to find out that it's been in the game for a really long time. I've just never seen or used them. And then you feel like dumb because you, you don't even realize that was a thing until just now. Okay, when I go for this place, I don't have any steroids on me right now. I'm getting encumbered. I want to pick up all the yucca fruits over here because we can actually use it. You can use it as food and you can use it as... Um, oh, I need to use these as well. That and beer to get uh, wellness. But yeah, um, we need to grab all the yucca, all the fruit and stuff we come across. But that's slowly but surely getting me encumbered. And especially at night time when the zombies are a little bit faster. We need to be careful. The nice thing is, because I'm playing 50% XP, um, we shouldn't get, like, barrels and stuff really early on, hopefully. Uh, this BMI actually has some barrels, but it might also have a dog. Just in case. I know you're a tough one. My stamina's almost out. Please bleed out, please bleed out, please bleed out. Give me gas. I need gas for my vehicle right now. Damn, only 78. Did she die? Okay, she died. Damn. I was actually expecting her to stand up uh, back up again because she was, she's one of the tougher zombies. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can hand this in quickly. Ooh, is this going to be the dead rooster? Need meat. So if we can kill all those chickens. Please tell me it's the... Yes, it is the dead rooster. Nice. We need chickens right now. So this is the perfect PRI to go and loot right now. I need to make sure though, that we close the doors because the chickens do escape outside the doors. Um, do that. Guys, remember, you can only use the vitamins uh, every 13 minutes one. I think the beer is also like 15 to 30 minutes, or it might be like 5 minutes. But it's just something to keep in mind. The fact that you have to constantly be keep, uh, taking in your vitamins, and you need to be constantly taking in beer, because that gives you wellness. Especially if you're dying a lot in the game, you want your wellness as high as possible. I should probably be doing stealth. Okay, chickens are going upstairs. Please don't jump through the window or something. Okay. Stamina, 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 stamina. Oh, I might just have to use the shotgun. I don't really want to use the shotgun this early. Because it's definitely going to wake up all the other zombies. But I need to make sure the chickens don't escape. Because sometimes they jump through the windows on the top and then you can't get them back. If you're lucky, they despawn outside and respawn inside. But unfortunately, my luck is not that great. There's definitely still chickens downstairs. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just use my shotgun. There's a dog outside the door. Did the chickens jump out? Please don't tell me they did. There's a window over there. As soon as they see you, they jump out that window. I'm actually thinking of just really jumping out the window as well and seeing if I can't catch the chickens. Hello, 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 hello. As long as I don't get too far away from the POI, otherwise I fail the quest. Oh, as a man, I feel that so badly. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Oh, nice. You're still inside. It's just really hard sometimes to hit them when they're moving like this. Okay, so now we should be able... I don't think this was all the chickens, so some of them escaped just now. Yeah, some of them ran that way. That's fine. As long as we have some of the chickens, that's okay. I also want to get in the back quickly because if I can kill that dog... I'll be able to just use that door over there. 
I'm actually really worried right now about like wandering hordes and stuff. Especially since I'm a little bit encumbered. You don't want to be encumbered while facing the hordes. Also guys, I've been noticing a stutter on my recordings and I don't know where that's from. For some reason I'm just getting a stutter and usually there was no stutter. So I'm actually starting to wor get worried now about my PC because it's spring here. It's, it's not even um, summer yet guys and it's so, so hot over here. But I think the reason it's so hot is the fact that it's, it hasn't rained yet. Every time it just drizzles out here, the, temp the temperature, uh, the overall temperature actually takes a uh, dive. So yeah, I'm just really, really hoping we actually st get, start getting rain. And the rain is forecast, but with all the wind and everything over here, as soon as the rain was supposed to come, all of a sudden there's no more rain forecast. And that's bad because we need the rain desperately in South Africa. It's getting way too hot. The fact that it's not, like I said, the fact that it's spring and not summer and we're already having this much issues over here, that's scary. Okay, um... I'm grabbing all the stuff and covering myself more. I just hope there's no feral downstairs. I'm also going to have to be careful now because as soon as I go downstairs... I still need to go to this toilet. I'll be able to do that from the inside. I don't want to be outside too long. But yeah, um... As soon as it turns night, the zombies are going to be faster. So I need to be out of here as soon as possible. We do have coffee. Let's, let's take some coffee. To make some other space as well. We can put that down at the base. These we can actually scrap. Remember guys, in Darkest Falls, you can't smelt these into your uh, forges. You have to have the stuff on, on you. So it's actually worth scrapping stuff down. You do lose stuff, but as far as I'm aware, you can't smelt them down in the forges anymore. And I actually love this format. Because you don't, you don't have stuff in your forges. You literally don't have anything in your forges. You have everything on you. If you want to move your forge, easy. Just pick it up. I need to be careful of more chickens and stuff right now. I want to pick up all these chairs as well because it's a nice source of fuel. Why do they wake up before I even start shooting, I wonder? I'm trying to kill these chickens as they come up. Nice. Be careful of your stamina. The fact that I can power attack these... If I left click, what's going to happen? Wait, is my power attack really that powerful that I can uh, one-shot them? Or am I just getting crits off? There's a zombie at the back of a year. There's still one behind over there. That one never wakes up for some reason. There's one in the bathroom. And then there's one behind the table over there. Or in the stands. For some reason, that one only wakes up when you get close enough. Okay, you should be dead. There you go. Hello, madame. It's always a lady as well. I've never actually seen a male zombie over here. Okay. I'll just be going to pick up all this stuff up before a wandering horde hits. If I'm down here while a wandering horde hits, we might just have a little bit of a problem. Reaching rounds. Nice, nice, nice. I just basically need to strip this place now. There is still a roof section as well. Um, the ladder is so broken, you can't really make it. Uh, make yourself... You can't make it to, uh, to that really easily. Oh, nice. That's going to help. I think you can use darts in Darkest Falls, right? So I'm be I'll be able to make myself quite a strong dart trap. Ooh, I, I wonder if... Or um, junk turret, I mean. I wonder if I shouldn't place a frame over here and if something charges me right now, I just jump in that cage. The cage is going to keep me safe. That's too strong. I still need to go for the bathroom upstairs. I want to make sure that I strip everything in a place like this when we can. Sometimes it's just hard grabbing everything in time because there's, like, like now, zombies outside coming for us. I think I closed, yeah, I luckily closed that door. Yeah, where's most of these zombies? If I can hit them with my spear, oh, hello, hello, hello. If I can hit them with my spear, it's a power attack sometimes, or if I can just give them an arrow as well. Nice. Okay, are you going to come closer now, or do I have to shoot you again? Nice. Nice. Okay, so that's done. We still need to get inside, but let's just get the roof first. I'm going to arrange the stuff on the roof. Uh, it's just going to be basically um, air conditioners. I'm just going to arrange all the air conditioners on the roof. And then, ooh, it's my first radiator. Hello, hello, hello. You are just normal. Oh, yeah, but I need to be careful. You're going to radiate me. I think these also radiate, right? I need to be careful. Some of them, I can actually, I don't know if it's in this mod as well. But I know, I think it's Undead Legacy or other mods as well, where if a zombie hits you and they're radiated, you actually get irradiated. Or you get radiate. I don't know what the thing's called. But yeah, I'm just really going to uh, gonna go and range all of these. 
And I'll see you guys back at the trader. It's actually a shame we didn't get an or find Anna sooner because now we wasted all of that cobble over there that we could have used at our base. Whether it be to make the farm on top of a land or to make a new base next to the land. On the one hand, guys, I want to use Anna for... I think I'm going to use Anna early game. And then as soon as we have the resources, we can make a standalone because I'm just afraid if we don't upgrade a standalone properly, it's going to really be a problem later on. Okay, let's see, let's see. What do you have Great for job. us? Do you have honey? Double barrel? I think we already have a double barrel, right? I said I'm going to use it as like a breaching gun. I might want to take the honey or the food. We have food at the base, so let's go for honey. Because that cures infection. We're going to need infection cures. I wonder if I shouldn't go for the survivalist next so I can get the double rewards. The sooner we get double rewards from doing quests for her, the better. Because especially her, you can do so you many quests me. for her. And it's a hundred. It doesn't mean you have to go up in difficulty. It's just a hundred quests for her. The only problem is all the quests are down there. I want some up here so we can do quests to the north as well. So at least now we know we have to get another one south. So it's going to be more or less in line with that one that we already have on the map. I think from now on I should first hand in hers and then do this one. Because then I basically know exactly where I want to do the next one. I'm just hoping it has one of those for us. Um, I need space. Oh man, I need space so badly right now. You reset day. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I need this as well. Iron breaker. When I go mining and stuff, it's gonna help my pickaxe. But I need the Molotov as well. You know what? We have fourteen Molotovs. Although for Fortnite, we need. We might need more as well. Um, I'm thinking of going for the Iron Breaker so I can actually put it on my. Okay, but wait. We already have these two. That we might actually then be able to move on to a different tool. That one already has. That one already has. I know any bladed weapons can't take it. Hmm. See, I don't want it to break. That's why I have the structural brace on, because that, that allows it not to break too fast. I wonder if I shouldn't just go for Molotovs, because during Horde Night, we might need a lot of Molotovs. And then hopefully later, we find this easily. <laughs> Otherwise, this could be a massive, massive mistake. Okay, so I need to constantly also check. Um, I think the Scout teaches you all the jobs and uh, masteries and stuff. But I wonder if your reputation, reputation first needs to be a certain level before they do that. Fetch and clear level 2. Um, see, this is the thing. We can easily do the buried supplies, but zombies are going to start spawning in soon. And I wonder if I'm strong enough to be able to kill them while I'm going for the buried treasures. If Oh, I need to see which one has the military tablet. I think it's the scientist class. With the military tablet, you can see exactly where the treasure is and dig straight down on top of it. Then you don't have to use the one-by-one -one -one block trick. But now I think we're going to stick with fetching and clearing. Uh, oh, that's nice and far down. I can actually do that one first and then head this way again. Okay, now, you should have reset by now, right? Yep, you did. Which means, look at this, nice. <laughs> I could easily buy a lot more Molotovs. Um, wait, why did you go there, not there? Oh. Okay, anyways, I need resources and stuff as well. If I can get a ton of cobble, we can do a horde base easily for day seven. Like the defense, I'm going to use Anna's uh, base as like the, the foundation. And then just build my usual defense on top of that. I want to test out, the problem is where I'm going to do this. I want to test the defense I've been using in Undead Legacy in Darkest Falls with the hatches and stuff, and I want to see how well that actually adds up or holds up against that. Okay, so we need to start selling stuff as well. That is a problem right now. Um, How much cash? Two point something. I think we have a lot of clay. We have like a lot of, a lot of clay. So I should probably just go for the stone. But at the same time, I could buy some ammo. I could buy tools. I could buy other stuff as well. I think we have a lot of clay, we just don't have a lot of stone, because stone is way more expensive as well. Hmm, grenade schematic, no thank you, water, no thank you. Probably get some food, especially the white cans, um, since you can eat them without getting sick, that's going to be a good one. Um, that's all my cash. I should probably just uh, save my Molotovs while doing quests, and only doing all nights use those. And then how much, how much stone can I actually get with this? Not even a thousand, right? Yeah, okay, that's expensive. Uh, how about 800? Still no. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it. We could easily go mining at night. Night time's a, a prime time to go mine. Oh yeah, we're going to get a ton of destroyed stone as well. So we don't have to do this. There's a tanning rack. We'll use in the tailoring workstation. But that's 1.7, unfortunately. Now that we have the tailoring workstation, we need to think of that stuff like that as well. Okay, anyways, uh, what else can I get from you? I wonder if I shouldn't just go Molotovs. 
Because, I mean, we're going to need them as weapons anyways. AKs is 4K. Ooh. If I can get more cash before day 11, that's that's a definite. We can just buy an AK. It's 4,000, but if we can actually get ourselves, like, um... But that's a, we need food in Darkest Falls to be able to get a good deal, unfortunately. Okay, I need to go eat. I need to go do some inventory sorting over here. So I'm just going to go back to Anna quickly. Um, I'm going to put all of the stuff away. I'm going to make sure I eat because my character is super, super low. And then I'm going to try and see if I can't get all the destroyed stone around Anna. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.